It's time to look ahead to Afghanistan versus Australia on Maruti Suzuki Arena presents ESPN Cricket Four Time Out powered by Dish TV Watcho. This is the fixture. When we saw the final set for the Super Eight, we thought Australia Afghanistan at St Vincent could this be a tricky game for Mitch Marsh and Co. They've been in terrific form, and Rashid Khan's side comes at the back of two defeats. So with Anil Kumble uh, in studio and Aaron Finch in the Caribbean, if I could go to Finchy quickly, we tend to say these things. Finchy, could Afghanistan trouble Australia at a low-scoring St Vincent? Do you sense mm. you share any of that nervous and nervousness or anxiety ahead of this fixture? A little bit. I think if Afghanistan could have chosen anywhere in the Caribbean to play a team like Australia, it would have been St Vincent. I mean, that's been a wicket that has produced a lot of spin right throughout the tournament. Afghanistan have got a quality spin attack, but so has Australia. If you look at the form of Adam Zampa and some struggles that the Afghanistan batting lineup has had, if their openers haven't done the majority of the job, I think Australia should still be very confident, but it's going to be a difficult game nonetheless. Yeah, on that, let's talk about Afghanistan and what you would advise as perhaps their design to topple a strong Australian side at the back of how they performed against India. I think they need to get back to their opening, uh, you know, pair. They changed that against India. Uh, they they wanted the right left combination to go. Uh, it's important that the openers get runs. I mean, uh, Gurbaz has been in great form. Uh, he needs to continue that. If they can bat first and score 140, 150, I think that will be a good score for them to sort of then mm -hmm. come into the game, hope that the pitch is going to play its part and the spinners will come and play. And uh, if they can knock over the two openers, Australian openers, which mm -hmm. is not easy, uh, they have been in tremendous form, both uh, Travis Head and David Warner, if they can knock them out early in the power play, then the pressure will be in the middle order and uh, that's where the spinners can come into play. On that design, Australia did decide to bowl first in that game against Bangladesh. Finchy, could that play into Afghanistan's hands? Should Mitch Marsh go the same way or do you not see that happening at a different venue? I don't think at a different venue. I was a little bit surprised with the decision last night because I felt as though the best chance that Bangladesh had to into the game was to post a, a reasonable total and then try and squeeze through the middle on what was a, a used wicket and a very bare wicket. But with a little bit of rain around, Dave used all of his experience. But I, I agree totally with Anil. If, if Afghanistan can put a total on the board, a bit like I said about Bangladesh, then they can really use it as spin advantage. And uh, I don't think that the team who wins a toss will bowl here. I think it's just too high risk on a wicket that um, has shown more spin than, than anywhere else. I think if you look at both... Uh, spin outfits with Zampa and Maxwell, um, Rashid, Noor, Nabi, then you've got the ability to, to try and squeeze through the middle overs. So win the toss, bat first, post a, a decent total. And, and a decent total is not 180 at St Vincent. Mm. It, it can be 150 and, and that is too many on most occasions. That's exactly what we saw in the game between Bangladesh and the Netherlands here. 159 was mm. enough. And we also saw South Africa manage to defend 115 by the barest of margins against Nepal. Bangladesh defended 106, the lowest score successfully defended in T20 World Cup history. It gets even harder in night games as we just look at the numbers over here with an economy of 5.18 and an average of 11 as against 12.3 in the day. It is not easy to get runs here at St. Vincent. On that note, Aaron Finch, you mentioned Zampa and Maxwell. Is there a case for Ashton Agar? Any changes? Yeah, and that's the reason why Maxwell played the last, sorry, Ashton Agar played the last group game of the tournament just to get him some game time with a look ahead to the fixture against Afghanistan in St. Vincent. Maybe the need for an extra spinner. But what we've seen so far throughout the Caribbean is there's been such a huge cross breeze that at the ground. It's hard to get two guys that spin the ball the same way uh, through eight overs. They tend to run into the same overs that each other wants to bowl. And as a captain, that can be a real difficult choice to which one do you go to? Do I take a risk and bowl you know, turning it with the breeze? So um, I don't think that they'll do that. I think they back Maxwell's ability to to be a defensive spinner as opposed to Zampa being spinner. Um, mm. And I think the, the three quicks is pretty hard to go past Stark, Cummins and Hazelwood, isn't it? I guess it's the quality of their three quicks that even would tempt you to say, all right, that's fine, we can do with Zampa. And also the adaptability of all these three quicks. I mean, we have seen Cummins come through really well in the yeah. last one year in, in you know, the game that he's brought into uh, in white ball cricket has, uh, has improved a lot. And uh, he picked up a hat-trick 
although it was quite different. As if, as if there was anything <laughs> else that Pat Cummins hadn't achieved <laughs> yes. in the last two years. It almost accidentally <laughs> took a hat-trick. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and he's started to bowl those cutters and so those three quicks are not easy to replace. And, you know, the only way that you can bring in an additional spinner is one of the quicks. Uh, you don't play them, and but I don't see Australia do that against Afghanistan. Warner's finding his Warner form, isn't he, Finchie? Uh, on his swan song, he's got plenty to play for. What's the method for Afghanistan to keep him quiet or try and stop him and Travis said Effectively, that could be where the game might be decided? Yeah, they've been in such good form for a long time now as an opening partnership. So, wouldn't be surprised if they go back to the Fuzzlehark and, and Naveen up top. But with England tried this off spin of Mo and Ali and Will Jacks against them last night, Mahedi Hassan, and it just hasn't challenged them a huge amount. And the overs that the spinners can bowl through the middle of the innings, I think, are far more important than what they're producing in the power play. I think at mm. times we're looking a little bit too deep into matchups and think, well, two left handers, I have to bowl an off spinner. But the way that David Warner's using his reverse, Travis Head's being aggressive as well, I think that they, they can be better utilised through the middle. Would you concur with that? Uh, Faruqi and Naveen B are, are a bigger threat than perhaps the spin that they have? Uh, I think so. I mean, but if the wicket is going to turn, then mm. maybe a Navi will come into play. Uh, because, you know, you will certainly mm. have to bring in a spinner in the first six overs. Uh, you might as well start off with a spinner rather than, uh, you know, once the two left-handers are set, then that's the last thing that you want, a spinner to come on and bowl. Uh, so maybe looking at the pitch, looking at St. Vincent, if they believe that it's going to turn from ball one, then get the spinner on and uh, you know Navi is your best option because of uh, what he brings and the experience that he has as well. Heard from Finchy, he doesn't expect a change for the Australian side. Afghanistan, are you looking at a change of personnel or simply Zadran and Gurbaz yes. back at the top? Yeah, I think so. Zadran and Gurbaz are back at the top. Uh, you don't want to change what has worked for them. I know right-left right, always, uh, you know, that's the thought process when you're playing in a T20 game uh, because of the wind and everything else the options, but why change when your two best batters have scored runs? Sure. Uh, don't change that. Go back to Zadran and Gurbaz. Australia still favourites or do you sense still this is the game Afghanistan could no, go? Still favourites, but you know, if Afghanistan bat first, then they certainly have a chance. Finchie? Yeah, Australia are clear favourites, I think. But I think the one change that Australia could look to make, if they're worried about runs being a, a premium on this wicket as opposed to uh, wickets, because they come I think they could look to bring Cameron Green in and go with eight batters in their side and use him as your third quick. Uh, whether that was for for Josh Hazelwood, I, I would be sure. But I think that that's the only change that Australia could look mm. to make. And uh, if you like, runs are an absolute premium, so why not go with an extra batter if you can? All right, fair enough. Thank you very much to Aaron Finch and Anil Kumble. More from them as the tournament rolls along. Australia, Afghanistan. Can't wait for this one at St. Vincent. This was our build up on Maruti Suzuki Arena presents ESPN Cricket for Timeout, powered by Dish TV. Watch all. Introducing the epic new Swift Time to go Swifting. Watch all. Watch all. Watch all.